Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alex, and, and welcome back, everybody, to the Infected RPG. And, uh, hey, look, there's a car right there. Uh-oh, there's a car right there, guys. Oh, no, this is bad. Okay, wait, let's see if we can snipe this person out. Can we take out his car? I don't know. This is actually kind of intense. Am I out of bows? No, I'm not. Oh, I think we're taking some damage on this car. Are we taking some damage? What is this guy doing? He's just driving back and forth. He's attracting a lot of the zombies. All right, well, back with the episode. As I was saying, um, this is going to be now uploaded every Tuesdays and Thursdays, the Infected RPG series. So with that being said, let me know in the comment sections how hyped you guys are about this. Honestly, I think it's going to be great. Oh, an Uzi. Okay, this is what I need right now, a small Uzi, just in case that guy pops around. I'm kind of low on ammo, but we're in the same place as last time. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit that like button and also leave a comment down below. I'm really enjoying the infected rpg series it's actually really fun it's different from the crafting dead and i think that's what's really important so we're going to jump back down here and hopefully we don't get in, in any trouble with that guy with the car but for the most part i think we're safe as we left off in the last episode we were just pretty much clearing out these places and plus i want to put a zombie head right now so that way the zombies won't be able to really um figure out that i'm a person for the most part it helps out once in a while once in a while but let's check out some here we got some rounds which is what i need right now Okay, I'm going to take most of it. Um, and then, let's see. The, for the most part, I need a lot of shotgun rounds. I believe I do have a shotgun here. A Model 11. Let's see. I don't know if I can reload that yet. For now, I'm going to keep the Uzi just in case that guy pops around. Oh, barbed wire. We can actually use that to barricade off some of the places here. So, we should actually do that because this place is actually one of the places I want to hold down for a while. Oh, my goodness. Was that a... I... What the heck? Well, I think we just got blown up by a mine. Silly me, I didn't realize that, so... Wow, that scared the heck out of me. You have no idea how loud that was on my, my part. I don't know if it's gonna be as loud as it is on your side, but that was completely loud on my headphones, so... I literally had like a mini heart attack for a second there, so we're good. Alright, whew. I'm gonna go in this car. I'm gonna take a breather here. I'm gonna see what there is. Okay, this is a makeshift split. I'm gonna get a kit, of course. Um, and all right, so wow, that was kind of freaky out. Okay, so I'm good now. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. What is this? This is a brass knuckles. That looks actually pretty cool. I wanna punch some zombie with that. All right, so let's do a slash kit here, and we're gonna go with. I know that my kit is really OP, so I'm not gonna use that yet. However, I'm probably going to give it a shot any anyhow, so I'm gonna, oh wait, I forgot. If I throw these out, I'm gonna throw them off the edge so I don't have to collect them. All right, you go out. There we go. I'm gonna throw out everything, guys, because Kit Alexon is pretty OP and I wanna show you guys how OP this kit is. So, well, let's do it, guys. There it is. Look at this kit. It's absolutely insane. So we're gonna throw this armor on right now. This armor is so, it's it's a really nice, uh, it's really, I'm really thankful for the owners who threw me in this kit. It really does, like, mean a lot, so thank you for that, guys. Also, do I have any ammo on this gun? Okay, I have 30 rounds. I'm going to make sure I don't get confused with all this other stuff here, because last time, if, I, if you guys don't remember, I kind of blew myself up by accident, so this is going to stay here. We're not going to get in trouble with that. Okay, we're in good shape right now, I think, for the most part. Okay, that's working. Okay, cool. I want to see how the uh, sniper rifle looks. Let's check this out. Oh gosh, can we not zoom? There we can. Okay, cool. So the sniper rifle is actually pretty cool. What I want to do is actually want to go travel down in that location over there. I kind of saw some cool buildings over there. I want to check it out and see what it's all about. Also, I know I can do a... Oh, there's a guy right there. Wait. Oh, we got him. I think we got him, guys. I think we just took out a person. This is actually pretty intense. I think it's one of my first kills so far with a sniper rifle, so that's pretty OP. Let's see if he had any good stuff. I think he was a noob for the most part. Uh, Jordy Worlds, if you're watching this video, shout out to you, my friend. You had a storage box. You had some good stuff, actually, so that's not too bad. All right, I want to make sure I'm not going to really like lose all this stuff with me because I have a feeling, a really good feeling I'm going to probably mess some things up. So I'm going to chuck some of this stuff out and for the most part i want to keep my um what's this this is the m4 i want to keep the m4 con oh there are people all over the place there okay i shall get this sniper rifle ready just in case and we're gonna move in guys i don't know if i should throw a grenade i feel like last time i threw a grenade i kind of blew up so that was a fantastic time um actually do i want to move in or do i want to keep it kind of chill for now Oh, I see the people actually look at them. They're right there. We can easily take them out guys if I had the um, accuracy Nope 
Oh, they're coming around. <laughs> I'm getting out of here, guys. All right, uh, it's kind of intense. I want to make sure I'm not going to die. Are they going to break out? I don't know. We're going to make a run for it. I don't want to get too close to them because I know that if I do die, this is a lot of gear that I should not be losing right now. So this is pretty OP. So I'm going to make sure I'm going to be safe for the most part. And as I mentioned again, I want to repeat this. I'm going to be having uh, the Infected RPG uploaded Tuesdays and Thursdays. And uh, and on the other side, within those days, it's going to be a mix of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play and the Crafting Dead and all the other good stuff that you guys enjoy. Now, I'm going to look out here because this is another part of the city. I kind of want to make sure I'm not going to get killed off here because I do have a lot of supplies and I do not want to get killed off here. That would be a pretty bad time for me. So, uh, looking around, are these guys sneaking around here? No, they're not. Okay, cool. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back out with my M4 because that is a pretty OP gun. I like that a lot. And I'm going to keep my frag grenade now. A small ball explodes three seconds after launch. So this one's a quick grenade. And this is tear gas. What is tear gas? Explodes after three seconds, blinds, hurts, and weakens enemies. All right. So I like that so far. We do have some gas. So we could go into a vehicle anytime soon. I see one down there. So we could just go in and get ourselves a vehicle. Oh, hope I didn't break my legs too far. Oh, did I break my legs? Wait, I need a... What is it? Oh, I think I'm fine now. Okay, cool. I actually want to get in this car. I want to drive around a bit. Uh, so let's see. I believe I can do... Let's see. How do I do this exactly? I think it's R. I'm not sure if it's R. Oh, no. We can actually drive. Is it tab? I forgot. I forgot what it... I think it's G or E. Oh, gosh. What's going on? Am I still bleeding out? Okay, I have to get myself my makeshift splint here. Got to use this up. Okay, that's used. And my medicine. There. That should do it. All right, you know what? Forget about the car. I kind of want to explore. Got to get some more gear after we lost everything. Okay, some more gasoline, which is always a good thing. Uh, okay, let's just put that there. And with that, a shank. Now, I'm going to keep my bayonet. My bayonet is pretty on point right there. I like it a lot. So, I'm going to keep the bayonet. That looks pretty good. Pretty stable. Anything else around here that... Oh, is that a... No, it's a car. The cars always get me confused, guys. It, it just happens to be. Uh, let's keep looking around. This place is a pretty beaten down city. So, if I do run into one, it's going to suck if I do get killed off. I'm going to throw that compass out. I don't really need the compass. kind of just want to go and, and explore without having that in the way. Uh, I see some other stuff around here. Now, this looks like a really destroyed city uh, for the most part. So, I don't know how many people are actually holding off shelter around here. But it is really cool looking. So, I got to be honest. I like this a lot so far. Hey, there's a car there. All right, I wonder where this leads. Now, this looks like a just a big wall for the most part. Uh, what's this? A bucket. No, I don't need that. So, it looks like a pretty big wall. Um, let's see. Anything else around here? It just looks like a big wall overlapping the city. Oh, is this a storage container? Yes, it is. So, what? Storage remove, storage dropper. Oh, wait, so I just broke it. So, I believe you can drop storage containers, but you have to make sure you're careful. Oh, this is a big, big river. All right, I'm going to... Or this is actually a man-made, um, I guess, river of some sorts. So, that's pretty cool. Let's go around and see if I can find anything on this side of the building. I could have crossed a bridge, but I feel like... Oh, I see some light there. But one thing that the bridge is, it's really like an easy point to point out if there's someone around. So this is kind of an easy way to go around, if anything. Now I see a torch here. I see some of these uh, caution type signs. So I wonder what this is all about. I'm going to probably kind of break back into the city and see if there are any other people around here. But uh, I want to make sure I'm going to stay safe. So find storing containers and place them in the map to store your items. So I can store my own uh, storage container around here. But I got to remember where I place it. So that's pretty cool. Okay, that's good to know. All right, let's see how this bayonet works. Oh, that's actually a really good bayonet. Okay, I'm liking this. So we got a token. Three tokens. Pretty good. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Um, now I'm going to probably go check out this. Oh, this is broken down helicopter. I want to check that out. So I'm going to get my gun ready just in case anyone else wants to sneak up on me. Hopefully, for the most part, I don't think people are friendly around here. Uh, but for now, we're just going to you know test our luck because as you guys remember in the last episodes, people aren't too friendly around here. So we got to kind of keep a safe lookout. Is this water canteen? Can I drink this? Oh, I can. Nice. Oh, what's... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Run it. Oh, no. There's the tear gas, guys. Okay, see, that's the... <laughs> That's the mistake I thought I would make, and it did happen. Okay. Oh, my gosh. This is bad. This is bad. Do I have anything? Oh, I'm okay. Oh, that was intense, guys. That tear gas was not friendly for sure. So, now for those who are wondering how does the tear gas work and how does it affect the player, that was like a close-up right there, so that was pretty good. Not too shabby. 
Uh, but that was kind of intense, actually, for the most part. A good thing we did not die, because if that was the grenade, we'd be dead. I'm telling you right now, that three seconds would have been the last three seconds we would ever have the Kit Alexson for quite some time. So, now that we're not dead and we just got some tear gas on us, I think we can still pull this together. Now, what is this? A box of parts, uh, scraps. Can I open it? What does one do with this? So, crafting supply. Looks like I could use these parts to make cool stuff. Random scraps of metal, old electronic parts, plastic, wood, and other doodads. So, this is a crafting gear supply that we can actually craft some cool things together. Which is not too bad. We can actually probably do something with that in the future. But again, some people said I can actually store my stuff at spawn, one of the spawns. So, I'm going to have to look into that as well. Uh, what is here? Revolver. I'm probably going to... I'm fine right now, I think, with the most part. A baseball cap. I want to see how this looks, actually. Even though we do have a pretty awesome hat. Um, baseball cap looks kind of cool. Looks kind of cool. But uh, I think we're going to go with the safety armor for the most part. I think that looks really safe. And, and it's secure, so I'm happy with that. Uh, let's take a look out from out here and see what we can find. It looks like this is a broken down highway. I don't see any people on here. It looks like the city is pretty much beaten down pretty roughly, so... Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go back into the city or I should go out. Is that another helicopter up there? Yeah, it is um, I'm thinking right now really deeply if I should go back into the city or if I should actually just call it quits and kind of go and, and scavenger around outside of the city So I'm thinking we might be doing that because you can find some really really neat things So let's see if I can parkour this. Oh, that break my oh, I didn't break my legs guys. That's the first uh, We need some food. So I'm gonna get some can of spam. I don't know how good this is eh, Okay, that's probably didn't taste too good. So whatever uh, one thing that's really difficult is the clicking on here. I don't know why. All right, let's keep look. It looks like someone tried to build a bridge around there. This is a flipped over truck. All right, that's good to know. Wow, this is actually quite intense. So I think my decision is to actually branch out of the city because it looks quite jam-packed. So I'm going to go down one of these side roads and, and see where it takes me because we're coming close to the end of today's episode. So I'm going to go down the side road and see if I can find like a small small little house to hold off. If not, I'm going to go into the woods and, and just hold off for as long as I can until I can uh, get by, back on the feet and see what else I can find around here. But so far, there's also a map that I can actually check out. So I'm going to probably do that eventually and check out some cool places that we can go look to. Also, if you guys have any places I should go check out, let me know in the comment sections. I'll give that a go. I'll look it on the map as well. And we'll check it out in the next episode for the most part i want to keep looking around i kind of want to keep scavenging because i really do enjoy doing that it really brings a cool survival aspect to it as i mentioned um in the crafting dead as well i really do enjoy bringing back that survival aspect and also guys with the role plays role plays will be coming back in a short short time um so i'm gonna be you know cracking at those very shortly they're gonna be returning in about like um i don't know when because i'm gonna be going on a one week vacation so i'm gonna have to have a lot of pre-uploads so i don't think i have time to get a role play out unless I can pull out one episode of Fear the Craft and Dead but right now I'm hoping for the servers to get back up and running for us and get that partnership working with um, MC Pro Hosting so that would be pretty cool hopefully that works out well for us and other than that we are coming close to the, today's end of the episode if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys hit that like button also thank you guys so much for all the support leaving on the channel we reached 24,000 subscribers and it's absolutely amazing you guys are really the best fans out there you guys really do leave a lot of great support and comments and I hate to call you guys fans because it feels weird i feel like you guys are just supporters and and like part of the foxy crew i don't know you guys should come up with you know before it used to be like hashtag stay foxy that's one of the things that we we call on the channel but uh i haven't really figured out what to call you guys for the most part i mean i don't know the fox pack we can do the fox pack um that's kind of creative as well now this is a cool area there's a hilltop so i don't know if there's a house on there it doesn't look like it. it's too pointy but i like the area where it's heading towards and i think we're going to continue to walk in this direction we got to eat up some spam i don't know how good that is but um we're going to keep walking in this direction. I'm really curious to see what else there is outside of the city map. You know, kind of the areas where more like, you know, more forests, more cabins. And I want to get a feel of the outside city life a bit and see how that's forming. Because I feel like there would be more bad people outside um, of the cities. And sometimes there are bad people inside the cities. Who knows? Um, but that's going to be pretty cool. Also, the role play is going to be awesome. We're going to have Fear the Craft and Dead Season 2 and The Maze Runner. And that's going to be fantastic, guys. I'm excited for it. Let me know what you guys think about the role plays returns. Uh, I know I'm hyping it up a lot. And I promise you guys I'm going to bring them out. Uh, it won't be in the next few days. But it will be, you know, coming up soon, hopefully, for the most part. So that's going to be fantastic. Now, oh, this is a... Hmm. Should I take off 
onto this side. No, I'm going to keep going on this road. This looks like a beaten down road. I like going down these paths. I think this is a cool way to follow. So we're coming out to the 15 minute mark, which is going to be, you know, for the most part, you know, how long these episodes are going to last for. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys hit that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comment sections anything you guys have to say. I'm going to just run into this forest a bit, hold off for a few days, and uh, see you guys next time on Infected RPG. My name is Alex, and stay foxy, guys. Peace out.